around 770,000 runners descended on the city's roads today for the annual Hong Kong Marathon races. Despite the ideal running conditions, though, 27 people were taken to hospital and one of them remains in critical condition, two others in serious condition. Keb Long has more. And they're off. Chief Secretary for Administration Matthew Cheung was among the officials who sounded the starting horn for the 42-kilometer full marathon, which started on Nathan Road in Chim Sa Chui. This year, more than 16,000 people signed up for the full marathon. As in previous years, the 10-kilometer run attracted the highest number of participants. That event started on the island eastern corridor. Unlike last year, the weather was ideal for a marathon, with many runners describing it as a good day to be out here, adding that they are satisfied with the overall arrangements. They included some of Hong Kong's officials. I feel great. It's, it's actually beautiful weather. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not too humid, and the weather is, is quite cool. It's great. I think the weather's great. Uh, we came with a group of 20 people, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed myself a lot. Cold as always, but nice and fresh, really well organized, and I think it's great, you know, good atmosphere. The conditions may have been good today, but more than two dozen runners needed to be taken to hospitals. One of them was a 52-year-old 10-kilometer race participant who fainted near the finish line at Victoria Park. She was initially taken to Rotonji Hospital in Wan Chai for treatment and later transferred to the intensive care unit of Eastern Hospital in Chai Wan. The woman was said to have suffered from a heart condition. Several other runners couldn't complete the grueling feat and had to bow out early. Still, the organizers said the number of injuries this year had dropped significantly compared with last year. A cardiologist explained that the temperature difference is usually higher in the winter, which makes it easier to trigger heart diseases. He advised runners with heart conditions to consult their doctor before participating in a race. In keeping with tradition, some runners dressed up for the occasion. This year's Spider-Man, an eggplant, and movie character Forrest Gump decided to run. Apparently, Gum forgot to bring his nutritional supplements for after the race. Uh, I haven't got my box of chocolate today. And there were the romantic runners who decided to propose marriage at the finish line. This year, Ethiopian runners dominated the marathon. Both top winners of the full marathon races for men and women are from Ethiopia. And it was a clean sweep of the women's race for Ethiopia. Caleb Leung, TVB News.